Hey Tony, it's Friday and it's cold. It's been really cold all week. I mean, we actually had a, I had a snow day, I had a snow day from work yesterday. And you know it's cold and snowy when the courts close. Taylor actually had the day off too and she works in a call center. So it was, it's been pretty miserable here. But it's, it's been rough. Though that being said, first off to answer your question of the week, Tony. I, is, I would love to come and help with the um, help with the Connects uh, amusement park and everything, but I can't make any promises. I don't even know what I'm going to be doing eight months from now after I take the bar exam, so I can make no plans at this point, Tony. Unfortunately, I, I would love to, but I can't promise anything. So back to the weather. So yesterday, um, Massachusetts and a lot of the East Coast got hit by something that was called a... This is one of the coolest meteorological terms I've ever heard. It was called a bomb cyclone, which I'd never heard of a bomb cyclone before until I read about it, I think, uh, two days ago. Yeah, I read about it on Wednesday, saying that the Northeast and just the East Coast was going to be hit by this um, bomb, this cyclone bomb or bomb cyclone. I can never remember which one it is. Basically, what this means is that you know how a lot of weather is caused by your high pressures and low pressures? Well, a bomb cyclone is when you have crazy winds, but also there was a massive depressurization that's basically like a bomb, hence its name. So we got hit by that. Now, Boston got hit a lot harder than us here in Springfield. Here in Springfield, we only had probably about five, six inches of snow and, you know, only wind gusts of about 35 miles an hour. Only. In Boston, though, oh man, they got hit with a foot of snow. They had crazy winds. Like, I want to say, like, their winds hit up to, like, 50 miles an hour, like their gusts did. And they also, due to the cyclone, had, with all, all the snow and everything else, they also had waves, just huge waves that just crashed, get, crashed amongst the, um, the, uh, the coast there. Now, I would have loved to see this in action, but I was not driving to Boston a whole hour and a half away in a blizzard <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen so taylor and i just kind of hung out here which leads me on to the next thing i started doing something again that for a while i thought i was done with i've started recording some game footage again and that that felt good like it had been i think about six months since i had last recorded a video for the team valenstorm channel and last night i recorded four so that was pretty cool Look for those to be up in the next couple of weeks. Taylor's just kind of editing them to make them look cool. But it uh, it felt good. It had been it had been a long time. But I'm looking forward to getting back to it. I don't know if I'm going to stay active because this semester is going to be crazy. But I'm going to at least try. Now for the um, the next thing that happened is I've actually been doing a lot of thinking the past the past probably month and a half or so. And that about, like, the main thought is the same thing I've been thinking for a lot, for a long time. Sorry, it's cold, so I'm not making good noises with my tongue. So, if this video sounds slurred, it's because it's cold in here and my face is cold. But I ended up talking to uh, a good friend of mine who's an attorney, who actually just went into solo practice. And he was trying, he was trying to talk to me about um, opening up a solo practice. And I'm considering it. I'm not sure on anything right now, because that's eight months from now, Josh problem. And it's going to be challenging to open up a firm to start off with. I've been asking around to a lot of private attorneys I know. And I've been asking around with um, a, couple other th a couple other people here and there. Looking for different advice they have, if they think it's a good idea or not. So stay tuned for that. Uh, next week's going to be exciting because classes start again. I start classes on Wednesday. It's only going to be a three-day week, which is nice, then followed by a four-day week, which is also nice. But this next semester is going to be crazy. Because I'm going to be taking... Um, so I'm taking 16 credit hours, but two of which is the trial team, which is going to be equal parts more and less work than any other class. Because the good thing about the trial team is it only goes till about March unless we win regionals, which would be awesome. I hope we do, but I can't make any promises on that, obviously. Winnick has never, my school has never actually won, so we'll see what happens. It'd be great if we did, but I'm not expecting anything. But 
So it's going to be a lot of work for about three months for that. But then as soon as it's done, then that class is just done. I don't have to worry about anything. But I'm also taking 14 other credit hours, and they're going to be pretty tough credit hours, including one class that I'm dreading, which is admin law. Admin law is basically, um, it's called administrative law. It's heavily tested on the bar, and if you want to get a public interest focus, you need to take it. I want to get a public interest focus, so I need to take it. But classes start next week. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm hoping to have a good semester. This past semester ended up really well. I got all A's and B's, which was great. So I can only hope the next semester I do just as well. Tony, your question for the week is what classes are you taking this semester? Tony, I'll see you on Tuesday. Later, bro.